In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we add some vegetation. Um, since the last tutorial, I've gone through and I've completely converted my original coaster so that it's now an inverted coaster. And I've also um, selected the entire track along with its supports and dragged it down so it's closer um, to ground level. Um, I'm going to go back to top view and I'm now going to add some vegetation. I can do that just using the Add Scenery object. Um, but when I go to Scenery, you'll see that there are different types that are available to me. And so what I like to encourage students to do, and you'll be awarded marks if um, you apply this same process, is to group the trees together um, so that the ride sort of goes through different parts um, depending upon the type of trees that are used in that part of the ride. So for example, I might want to space out um, some, some fir trees next to the track around this bend and you can see that it's easy to position them around the outside. Notice that I'm trying to be careful not to position them too close to the track because if I position them um, too close then they're going to um, pose a, a bit of a threat to the safety of uh, the people on the ride because they'll actually flick into the trees. So you can space them as close together or as far apart as you like. It's worth taking your time actually positioning them correctly now because it does take a fair bit of time and effort to reposition them later on. Now you can actually reposition them in this view by selecting the tree and moving it around but I sometimes find it easier to use the 3D view and you can easily find the tree that you're wanting to work on. And then determine whether it's too close or too far away from the track. Um, but I try and use the top view as much as possible. Um, you can even thicken it out. Um, so add some more trees and greater depth um, to the track's design in this section, but I'll leave that up to you um, to work out. So I, I'm sure you can see what I'm trying to do here. I'll just try and uh, achieve the effect I'm after by changing the tree type now. So if I change from a fir tree um, maybe through to an ornamental now as I go in this loop the loop section, making sure I'm keeping it nice and clear of the track again. And you can position these as densely or um, as open as you like. Um, that's not the, that's not really a concern. You just want to set it up so that it creates a bit of a change of mood or feel for the roller coaster ride as you go through different parts of the circuit. Okay, now let's have a ride um, of our roller coaster track now. And you'll notice that it, it does take a little bit longer to load the track now that we've um, added in some um, scenery. Let's speed it up a little. And we'll slow down as we come down the opposite side. Okay, so we're wanting just to check that we're not too close to the uh, trees, so we're not going to injure the passengers on our roller coaster ride. So we've come through the fir trees and now as we go through the next segment of the ride, we're actually um, going through an ornamental section. So it does change the feel of the roller coaster ride. Okay, so you can see um, what the uh, roller coaster looks like now that I've changed it to an inverted coaster. So 
once again, the same way that we um, have added supports, we can use our move tool to select our supports and, and delete them if necessary, or we can uh, select trees and delete them if necessary. All right, that's basically the end of this tutorial. Thanks very much.